Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we have a Chanel Spring Summer 2022 unboxing. These are the hottest shoes of the summer. Don't heave at me, it's the truth. <laughs> guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> <gasps> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Guys, this is not going to be a straightforward unboxing. Okay, obviously we're going to do the unboxing, but there is a story time that goes with this. I need to tell you about availability of Spring Summer 2022, how, what what I went through to get these shoes, the fact that they're maybe even not really my first choice, but I'm gonna go through all of that with you. The pricing, the sizing, the colors that these comes in, the heel height, the styling, we're gonna cover it all. Okay, so, up two of these actually. One is for me and one is for my sweet, sweet mother because um, she has good taste. Pop the trunk, come on. Chasseur, thank you very much. Okay, wonderful. How many dust bags have they given us this time? Oh, two. Oh, thank you. No production issues there, I see. Okay. Are you ready? I got the white mid heel height. <gasps> Shocking, I know. Don't you worry. We are going to go through it. This is the non platform version. These sandals, you know, if you're a seasoned subscriber, that as soon as I saw these on the runway, it was love at first sight. It was, I have to have these. I know that these are going to be super hot and hard to get. They're very me. I am a self-proclaimed logo ho. It just spoke to everything inside of me. Very classic, easy shoe style. Okay, like you're going to bring this out summer after summer and turn out a look. Now, as mentioned, this is the medium heel height. They do these in three heel heights. Okay, I'm gonna read this off. You've got a 99 millimeter, this is the 85 millimeter and a 65 millimeter. You also have a version with platform and that total heel height is 105 millimeters. Now, they do also do some different colors. The platform version, as far as I'm aware, by the way, this is UK information. I do know for different parts of the world, there are kind of like other colors um, and things like that. So I'm going to try and cover what I know. So for the platform version, they only do them in the white with the black CCs. For the lowest heel height, it comes in a blush pink and like a pastel yellow. For this heel height, you've obviously got them in the white and in like a corally lovely shade of pink. Then for the highest heel height, you have white, you have blush pink, and you have the pink that I'm talking about. Now, I did mention other kind of color combinations depending on where you are in the, in the world. I know that a blue exists. I know a hot pink exists. I've also heard of black with white CCs as well. So depending on where you are, you know Chanel, <sighs> likes to keep us on our toes. I think that's the nicest way that we can say it. I wanted the white. At first I was kind of between white or pink, but I think that the black CCs really pop against the white. I don't have any white shoes and I thought this is my opportunity. Now, I know that you're shocked if you're a seasoned subscriber because, um, you know, I firmly believe in the higher the heel, the closer to God, right? I made this joke to the Chanel essay that was helping me. Didn't land. Didn't land. I was just there like, and pushing on with the conversation there. Why did I go for this heel height? Well, let me tell you the sodding story. So, bright and early, last Friday was the launch day for this Spring Summer 2022 collection. I had previously registered my interest about these shoes with a Chanel essay at Chanel Sloan Street. Now, my essay was ill, sadly, um, and so she wasn't in, so somebody else was going to take over for me, whatever. She'd said that there are two aside with my name on it. Obviously, one for me, one for my mum. They're exactly the same. Fine. I went, um, the store opened at 11 a.m. There I was, naive. Oh, I'll pop along at 11. I might be a bit early. I'll wander around, see what's in the other windows. Well, well, well. There was a queue about 30 to 40 people deep already by the time I got there at 10 to 11. So with the, my tail between my legs, I joined the back of the queue. Now this day, I had also, um, misread the weather, shall we say. I also didn't think that I would be outside for a prolonged period of time and wasn't dressed for that. So I'm not going to lie to you, I have a sodden cold right now that I have really dosed myself up to do this video. Um, I have suffered 
for these shoes. I know, I know how stupid that sounds. I know it's stupid to wait outside, yes, for one hour and 40 minutes to get a pair of shoes. And I know that I paid for the pleasure of doing that. But I hope that we're in a safe space here and you're not gonna judge me for it. I get there and the woman who is now sort of taking over from my essay because as I mentioned she was ill she was like these are the only two pairs of these shoes that we've had in full stop okay so you have both and I was like it's a good thing I had registered my interest and that my essay had put these on hold because if I if if I had queued for one hour and 40 minutes, and the thing is, is that when you're in that queue, the longer you stay there, the longer you have to wait it out. Cause you're like, I've been in here for half an hour. I can't leave now. What if I then like come back in the afternoon? It's still, no, you've got to wait it out. Um, if I had queued one hour and 40 minutes and got in there and they'd said, really sorry, nothing for you. I don't know what I would have done. So great, great, great that they're on hold for me. She also then had to put me into a private changing room so as not to, in her words, start a riot, okay? Because I had the only two pairs of these shoes. These are very popular, very sought after. A lot of people want them. So I'm assuming if I was out on the floor trying out the shoes like everybody else, people would have been like, um, she's got it. Why can't I have one? All of that business, okay? So I had to be put into a private room to try them on. Now, from what I've heard of definitely of the UK, these are hard to get. I have a friend who managed to get a blush pink of the highest heel height, literally by like luck. Everyone else that had gone in and was asking, they were like getting turned down and literally because this one essay liked her, she was blessed. Again, they had to put her in a separate room for the same kind of thing. When she then brought these out of the box and it was not the heel height that I wanted, I wanted the highest heel height, right? I was a little bit like, what what have I done? What? <sighs> However, I tried them on, and we'll go through it. Obviously, you know I'm going to show you all. The, I'm going to do all the details and everything, right? And actually, not only was I pleasantly surprised at like I actually liked how this heel height looked on my feet because that's it for me. It's like the proportions and the arch and everything. And actually, I thought, do you want to know what? I think that these kind of suit my feet for a spring summer moment and it's a heel height that then I could wear comfortably throughout the day. You know, all of my other heels, let's be honest, do you actually think that I like walk with these throughout the day? Absolutely not. This is a curb to car moment. I get out of the flat, I get in an Uber, I get to the restaurant, I sit down, back we go. I'm hardly on my feet in these, right? These I could actually clip clop around town. So that paired with the fact that I was like, if I turn these down, I may never get a pair. I was like, wrap them up, let's give them a go. I got mine in a size 39. I'm usually a size 39 in Chanel. Are these my first Chanel heels? Yes, they are. All my others are trainers. Yes, okay. I would say that they're true to size and these are 970 pounds. You've got the little ankle strap there with the little this thing. Um. I'm not gonna lie to you, if this style was in a plain colour or something and not this print, I wouldn't have looked twice. But you know me, the logo does something to my soul, it just like um, lights a little fire and it's like, mm, I'm kind of excited about that, okay? And that's just how I am. And I'm gonna show you some ideas of styling, okay? I'm gonna do a casual and I'm gonna do like a, like a little bit dressy to show you how I plan on making her work, especially for a heel height that I usually wouldn't really look twice at. Some people, some of you guys will understand and be like, I get it, I've been there, thank you. And some of you guys will be like, well, that's stupid, you shouldn't have settled, sort of thing. I'm also somebody that believes in everything happens for a reason. And in this situation, I thought, do you wanna know what? These were put on hold, this is the pair I was meant to have. There we go. And I don't know if you should apply that life philosophy to luxury items, but I have. And what are we gonna do about it? Okay, let me show you some styling. This is giving a professional woman off duty, but she's gonna still read all the T's and C's, right? Whenever she checks any boxes online. Yes, okay. So 
Obviously, the shoes are black and white. I kind of wanted to play on that. Obviously, you can do it with colours or whatever, but this is just personally my style suggestions of how I'm going to do it. Now, this shirt really means business. So let's do a pop of colour bag. The bag has to be a solid colour. I think if you start to do like print and print, if you start to do logo, logo, I think this is where it then gets dangerous. Obviously, I had to go with the... Uh, 1.1 millionaires what just to carry on the all white she's off and in this look we are doing chanel heads shoulders knees and toes i thought let's really amp this up all right simple black dress i love this thing from the attico it's cute it's a little bit different a little bit interesting whatever okay then let's layer the belts let's do chanel chain belt chanel chain belt bag even these i haven't sodden brought these out in a few years i thought why not it's a little unexpected pop she's a magician oh and again for those at the back that didn't get to see the first time okay <laughs> i think with these shoes really it's color blocking okay we don't do pattern on pattern we just want to give everything enough of a moment you know what i'm even into the gloves because they were a bit of a rogue choice those to be honest with you i just saw them in the drawer and i thought let's just add them you know for a bit of s and g's you know but hold stop guys let me know what you think of my new uh, little spring summer chanel heels you're not going to be seeing the end of these shameless plug follow me on instagram to see any other looks that i turn out with them um and tiktok uh, but in general you're going to be seeing a lot of these in the fashion scene on instagram these have been hard to get with in the uk i expect that they're the same worldwide may the odds be ever in your favor if you are after these and let me know what you think of them in general guys i'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys